Hello guys, have you ever been lazy to type a long artisan command with parameters? For example, for me, every time I go and create demo projects with controller, so I need to type PHP, artisan, make, controller, order, controller, for example. And these parts are always the same, PHP artisan make controller and controller as a prefix. Maybe we can help the lazy developers to not type it all every time. Of course we can. For that, I will demonstrate how you can create the alias for the terminal. In my case, it's a MacBook with ZSH as a terminal. So check your terminal documentation and your operating system documentation to generate the aliases. In my case, I need to edit the file, which is in my main folder called ZSHRC. And I already have one alias. So alias, whatever string you want, and whatever command that would actually be executed. So I shortened PHP artisan to just art. So if I close that, I can run art make controller my controller, something like this. And it would execute PHP artisan instead of art. But we can make a few steps further. If we go back to editing that file and we create another alias, for example, for artisan make controller. And then we go PHP artisan make controller. We need to restart the terminal or maybe not. Let's try it right away. Your controller not found. Okay, we need to restart that. CD sites project and we repeat AMC and now it works. So next time you see someone typing instead of PHP artisan in their tutorials or on Twitter in the screenshots, something shorter, for example, in the pull request by Tim McDonald, he has a alias. So PHP Artisan, he changed to just one letter, which then transforms PHP Artisan docs to just a docs. I wouldn't do it myself just for the purpose of these videos on YouTube, because then I will need to explain every time what is that a command or something. So I will keep doing the old boring way of PHP Artisan make something with full path to show you how it's actually done by default. But if you want to save a few keystrokes here and there. I totally recommend you to read about aliases. Again, depending on your terminal and your operating system, Google how to do it in your case and let's save more time, which is exactly what I'm trying to do with these videos here on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos and see you guys in those other videos.